Hey YouTube family, thanks so much for clicking on today's video. We are going to be going through an entire day of eating Whole30 and as you guys know, I am currently loving this diet. I am on day 22 out of 30 and I have actually grown accustomed to the taste of black coffee with a little bit of nut pods. I recently picked up this cinnamon swirl flavor and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. You guys are getting a peek into my 5 a.m. morning routine where I wake up and I start journaling while I drink my coffee because I am using that as my pre-workout, which actually has fueled me throughout my workouts and I've been really surprised behind that because I am someone who typically uses the Energize and I've noticed that I've had a ton of endurance during my workouts. I've actually been able to improve my mile time and lift heavier weights and overall I'm just feeling super amazing on this diet and lifestyle so far. I'm actually kind of sad for day 30 to come. But after the workout I go ahead and get my breakfast in and I already had some of these sweet potatoes prepped which is something I definitely recommend is you want to make sure that you have your staple items prepped. It just makes things a lot easier when you go to prepare your actual meals. So I had roasted these sweet potatoes and I just warmed them up and I'm making two bowls because my mom was here visiting, but we are going to be having a sweet and savory sweet potato bowl. This was really, really good. I got this idea on Pinterest. I'll definitely leave all of the recipes that I list here linked down below in the description box for you guys, so be sure to check those out. The sweet potatoes were a little warm, so I went ahead and put them in the fridge, but did you guys see TJ running around back there? He's seriously getting into everything these days. So I'm just gonna chop up some fruit here. I chose some strawberries, some banana. I think I threw in some raspberries and some blueberries on this day. I just got all of the yummy fruits and this just tasted and sounded really good for me today so I'm just gonna go ahead and arrange the fruits on top of the sweet potato mash just like this this almost reminded me of eating like a cream of wheat let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever had cream of wheat before like I used to love that growing up but this is a much healthier version obviously I did want to top off this sweet potato meal with some hemp hearts and some chia seeds that you guys saw there a little bit earlier just to add some extra fiber and healthy fats and then I'm also going to be adding in some almond butter a trick that I use with the almond butter is to add a little bit of warm water to thin it out so that I can add it as like a nice drizzle this just was really kind of for the aesthetics you could definitely just scoop in your almond butter but I am all about eating food that looks good. It just makes me really happy. So this meal was amazing. So it's 1.30 right now and I am about to power up with this iced Americano that I picked up from the local um, coffee shop. It's literally just espresso shots. It's a quad shot um, over coffee ice and I'm gonna add some more of that oat, um, the nut pods. And I'm getting ready to make lunch right now, so we're gonna do um, some Whole30 approved chicken salad. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this really quickly. And I'm probably just gonna do a talk through because as you can tell, it's pretty loud at my house right now. So yeah, I'll just walk you through how we do it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is drain your chicken and don't be like me and get the juice everywhere. This was gross and I definitely, yeah, it was just bad. But we're gonna be adding in some Dijon mustard, some celery, some red onion, and I did pick up this Primal Kitchen garlic aioli mayonnaise, and I thought that this stuff was really tasty. Again, anything that I can leave linked down below in the description box for you guys, I will. I noticed that I did have to get a lot of these Primal Kitchen staples from Amazon because our local grocery stores just didn't have them in stock really. Um, but I'm gonna be chopping up the veggies here really nice and fine and going ahead and adding them to the chicken salad. And I'm gonna be using that garlic aioli mayo and as like the base, so I'm just gonna be mixing in that. Again, I'll have the recipe and all of the exact measurements down below if that is something that you guys are interested in. I am more of just a see it and create it and add everything to my tasting and liking. Um, so let me know in the comments down below if you're somebody who likes to use exact measurements or if you're somebody who just eyeballs everything. I know I could never write a cookbook because seriously, 
I just like throw things in a pot and see if they taste good. But I'm gonna add the slivered almonds there like you saw and then some seasonings and then jazz it all up with some nice lemon juice. And this dish was absolutely amazing. And of course, because it is Whole30, can't have this on a bread, but I just made it on these nice little lettuce boats here. I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop in, I'd say about three ounces of chicken salad per serving and again I'm making two plates because my mama's here and I'm making her lunch as well and I'm just topping that with some carrots and some tomatoes and this dish was really really yummy I did slice up some red bell pepper as kind of like a side and it gave it a really nice crunch but overall I love this dish and I thought this was amazing Moving right along, we are going to be making some paleo orange chicken for dinner tonight. My husband is a really big fan of Asian dishes, and so I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to show him a little bit of some good old paleo cooking and how we can make some of his favorite meals and make them a little bit healthier. So I hope that you guys will screenshot that recipe back there as well as the ingredients. And of course, I'll have everything listed down below. But we wanted to start off with some no sugar added orange juice and this is the Simply Orange Juice. It's literally just made of oranges, which was awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and get all of the ingredients that I need for my sauce. I thought that this sauce turned out really, really good. I felt like it wasn't super sweet and it also didn't have that weird aftertaste that I feel like I've experienced with other sugar-free or keto-friendly sauces in the past. I really liked the natural flavors that the orange juice provided. And I also got to add in some fresh ginger here, which was new for me. I am not, I haven't really cooked that much with ginger and I did try to chop it up here, but it was just like these huge pieces. So I found a little grater and I went ahead and grated it, which I felt like I should have done from the beginning because I had huge ginger chunks in the sauce. But, oh well, it still ended up really, really good. So you're just gonna want to fry up your garlic and ginger and get it nice and fragrant in some avocado oil. And then you're gonna wanna add in all of the ingredients from the juice. And then you're going to use some arrowroot starch to go ahead and thicken it all up and I'm gonna let that simmer and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my chicken into bite-sized pieces. The original recipe calls for chicken breast, but I use chicken thigh because I really like how tender chicken thighs are and I just feel like chicken thighs with Asian dishes are really, really good. So again, I'm gonna take some tapioca starch and I'm gonna add that to a bag and I'm going to season it. I feel like this is like frying chicken, like where you like season the flour, I don't know. I guess you could totally season your chicken separately, but I just like to season the flour. This is like how it was for me growing up. So you're just gonna wanna add in your favorite seasonings and then you just add the chicken into the bag with the starch and you just go ahead and shake it all up until it's nice and evenly coated. And this is the chicken that we are going to be frying up in some avocado oil and it's gonna come out nice and crispy with really juicy chicken on the inside. You're not gonna wanna overcrowd the pan though. You're gonna wanna make sure that you're keeping a nice um, distance between the chicken so that it doesn't overcrowd and like get soggy. You really want that nice crunch on the outer part of the chicken, so be wary of that. Then you're gonna add everything into a bowl. I just used this big, large plastic bowl that I had, and then I'm gonna add the sauce in there and give it a nice coating. The sauce was really nice and thick, you guys, and like I said, I really liked it. I felt like it had some amazing flavor. I felt like it tasted really fresh and citrusy, and overall, I really loved this meal. I felt like it was really good. I paired it with some riced broccoli and cauliflower, some riced cauliflower and broccoli, and some roasted broccoli on the side. All right guys, so it is 7.15 right now and I am getting ready to have a little nightcap with two of my cookies. If you guys watched my last video, then you saw the recipe for those, but if you didn't, definitely check down in the description box. I'll have that video linked there and then up in the cards for y'all as well. So you can check that out and get the recipe for these. These are Whole30 compliant and they're delicious. And I am a girl who needs some dessert in her life. So this is what I'm gonna be having to end my night off. Thanks so much for watching this video and as always, if you're not already, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and also make sure to check me out over on my Instagram so that you don't miss any recipes and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.